Hello and welcome to this short video on how to use your sociology libguide. My name is Paula Cardozo and I am your librarian for sociology. I'm going to walk you through this libguide and talk about different ways to get help here at the University of Lethbridge Library. So this is the home page and all of our libguides are in a tabbed environment. So take a look here and click wherever you think you need to go. Please keep in mind that you can get help at the library. Email is the best way to contact me. You also have the option of using this direct to me chat feature. So when that's lit up green, that means that I'm signed into the system. But a lot of times, especially if you think it's a quick question, the library help desk is probably the best place for you to contact first. And there's a number of ways to do that. You can go down to the research help desk on the main floor of the library. But keep in mind that we know that you're busy and that you're all over the place. So you can contact us for help in lots of different ways by clicking this button right here. Feel free to share with me your thoughts on this libguide, especially if you have some ideas on how I can improve it. I made this for you. So the very first tab that we're going to visit is dictionaries and encyclopedias. I have a little blurb here that talks about why it's a good idea to consult a subject specific uh, reference source. You can also do a quick search here and on this page I've just highlighted a couple of resources that are available to you here at the library and some of them are online as well. Finding books and ebooks, and yes, we still buy books in the library. There are many of them down on the bottom floor of the library, but we also have a number of ebooks as well. There is a short video here that walks you through the process of searching for books and ebooks in the catalog, and a couple of different search tips that are here as well. Please keep in mind that if you're struggling with your search tips, that's a great time to go back to that Ask Us or to email me, and we're happy to help you come up with some of those search words if you're having a bit of trouble. This is the most hit tab on your sociology libguide, the finding articles. So we have a couple of recommended databases. Um, I've put Socindex first as that's probably one of the heaviest hitters for your particular field of study. There's a little bit more information here. Um, keep in mind we have an interlibrary loan. So if you come across that perfect article that we don't have in the collection, if you've given yourself enough time, you can probably get it from interlibrary loan. And there's a couple more tips here as well as some uh, tips for searching Google Scholar as well. Finding videos. So we have a search bar right here that searches only the video content. So DVDs, Blu-rays, um, streaming video, which we have many of now. A couple of more tips on finding the physical DVDs, which are down on the main floor of the library. If you're having trouble finding something, just let one of the staff members know. Then we also have a number of streaming video databases. If you're looking for Canadian content, Curio and NFB are your best bet, but we also have Films on Demand and Canopy, and there's some really good content in there as well. If you need to consult any government documents, there is another librarian that helps out with that. So I have included a link to the Government Information Help Guide, so take a look at that if that's something you need. Citing and writing, this is one that comes up a lot. There are a couple of different citation styles. Please check with your professor to make sure that you're using the right one. We do have guides for the major ones like APA, MLA, and Chicago. And down at that help desk, we are willing to give you a little bit of help with, with citations. So again, if you have questions, just ask. This is a page of services for faculty. So if you're a faculty member looking at this, um, please take a look. And of course, if you have any questions, you're just gonna get in touch with me directly. And finally, open access. So if you're wondering what the open access movement means and what that means to you, please feel free to take a look here. I've also come up with a list of open access journals for sociology. All of these are 100% um, open access, no paywalls on these, and I've checked all of them uh, to make sure that they're not predatory journals as well, and I've tried to 
find a couple of journals that don't have author processing fees. So if you're looking to publish in an open access journal, please take a look at that and let me know if there's anything I can do to help. So that is it. So we'll just go home one more time. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to get a hold of me. And you can also contact us at the research desk using this Ask Us button. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck and hope to see you soon.